Hey guys, I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shaka and I welcome you to my channel. I'm so grateful as always that you guys are listening, subscribing and commenting on my channel. I appreciate the support. If you guys are interested in supporting me on Patreon, my Patreon link is below as well. I'd love any kind of support all the way from $1 a month to $20 a month, whatever you guys prefer. In this video, I want to speak to you guys about an introvert-extrovert relationship. So when INFJs, who are obviously introverts, get into a relationship with an extrovert. And that's pretty common in my opinion, or in my experience at least, all of the relationships, especially significant other relationships, like friendships, obviously, I have introverted friends, a few of them, but mostly I end up with ENFPs or ENTPs as friends and ENFP and ENTPs as relationships. So mostly I'm hanging out with extroverted people around me. I guess it's because I, I, get, I feel balanced around them. If I'm around an introverted person, I have to be the one who brings more energy to the situation. Around an extroverted person, they're doing all the talking, they're doing all the work, they're doing all of that stuff, which means I can relax a little bit. But this is kind of the thing that I want to talk to you guys about, the imbalance that happens between an introvert and an extrovert, which can actually be really stressful and strenuous for the extroverted person. We always look at it from the perspective of an introverted person. We're like, oh, poor introvert has to deal with the extrovert and he has to or she has to hang out with them and put all the energy into it. And they always have to be up because extroverted person has so much energy, etc., etc. But yesterday I was talking to an extroverted friend of mine and she's dating introvert, a major introvert. And she was talking about how difficult it can be on her end as well. And it really opened up my eyes because I never actually really thought of it from their perspective. And she was talking about the fact that, yes, I mean, it's great being with an introvert and, you know, it balances things out, but she sometimes feels like she's pulling all the weight in the relationship, where she feels like she's always trying to balance him out, and she's putting all of, the ener all of her energy into the relationship, whereas he mostly is just taking it or just sitting around at home not doing anything. So she'll always be like, yeah, let's go out, let's do this, let's go try this, let's go to this lesson, let's go out for dinner. And he's always like, yeah, no, I think I'm going to stay at home. And so she always feels like she's pulling him or dragging him unwillingly. And she feels tired, mentally, physically, spiritually exhausted, because she's always pulling the weight of two people. Now, I'm not saying that this is typical in all extrovert, introvert relationships, but obviously, there's always going to be a little bit of an imbalance. One person's always going to have more energy, and they're always going to give more to the relationship, and they're always going to pull the other person, person more than the, the other person, right? I just wanted to do this video because I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a heads up, if you are an introvert, that you are perhaps in a relationship like this, that it is easy for an introvert to start becoming lazy and start letting the extrovert worded person or the extra word in the relationship take all of the burden of the relationship. So they're the ones who are always making the plans. They're the ones who are always telling you, let's go here, let's go there. They're the ones who are always making new friends. They're the ones who are planning all the trips. They're the ones who are doing major majority of the work in the relationship in that manner. Maybe it's more tangible because you can see it. Perhaps the introverted person is doing a lot of intangible work. But the extroverted person needs you to step up. It's not going to be, the relationship is not going to last for that long if you don't step up. If you don't realize that perhaps you are maybe pulling too much from the relationship and perhaps it is your responsibility to give back as well. And also to be there for the extroverted person as they need you to be there for them, right? The extroverted person usually realizes that the introvert needs their space, time and, you know, to be alone. So they give them that time. But you also have to realize that an extroverted person needs to be exuberant and, and cheerful and outgoing and all that. And you need to give that to them as well. Now, if you're in a relationship, a lot of times extroverted people complain to me that they're always the ones going out and partying and doing all that stuff. And the introverted friend or relationship is always at home. And when you're in a relationship, a lot of times you want to do these things with your significant other. Yeah, you know, it's all right for you to go party once in a while by yourself or go out for dinner with friends once in a while by yourself. But a lot of times you prefer, if you're in a relationship and you like the person, 
that you want the person there with you. You know, you want to explore all of these ideas, all of these places, not by yourself, but with this individual that you've decided is your partner in life, um, whatever your relationship might be, and you want to go with them. You don't want to just go by yourself. Once or twice, obviously, it's fine, but I could feel the pain in this person's voice. She's an extrovert, and she was saying that she's tired. You know, she wants a little bit of a balance in the relationship. She wants the introverted man, her husband, to contribute a little bit more and to be to step up a little bit more. And I wanted to obviously do this video in order to tell all the introverts out there that, yeah, you do need a lot of time, space alone, obviously. This is one of the main characteristics of an introvert. But if you are interested in maintaining and even expanding your relationship with this extroverted person that you're with, then it is your responsibility to give a little bit more than you are giving right now, right? Now, of course, you might be like, oh man, it's already so tiring being in a relationship, blah, 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 then maybe don't be in a relationship. If you cannot give your due, if you cannot step up and be there for the extroverted person as they need you to be, because it's not just about you getting your needs met, but it's about also the other person getting their needs met, and just because opposite to your needs doesn't mean that they should never get them met, right? They leave you alone and it lets you stay at home by yourself hour after hour, day after day. So it is your responsibility to come out of that, you know, out of that solitude phase and go out with them once in a while and spend time with them being exuberant, being cheerful, being outgoing because that's what they need. They need their partner to do that sometimes, right? And I know as an INFJ, we have this thing that, oh, I'm already, I'm already giving a lot in the relationship. And I know I had these, these thoughts as well. I'm like, I'm already giving. I'm already cooking for the person and I'm already caring about them in a subtle way. I'm already thinking about them all the time. But extroverted people, a lot of times they need a little bit more tangibility in the way you show your affection to them, right? It's all right if you, um, if you cook for them and all that stuff. Yeah, that's pretty tangible. But maybe their love language isn't acts of service, right? Maybe their love language is quality time as well. So you need to go out with them, party with them, do all that stuff, right? Not obviously to the point of burning yourself out, but you know, make sure you take care of yourself and then make sure that you make the time to show them love the way that they expect to be shown love, right? This is one of the major learnings that I've had, especially with my mother. My mom is an extra word to do it. She's ENTJ. ENTJ, ENFJ actually, no, ENFJ. My father's ENTJ, my mother's ENFJ. And so she's a very much, very much an extrovert. And I am very much an introvert. And the more she wants to pull me out of my shell, the more I'm like, no, I want to stay inside. And I really resist it. But that's one of the ways she show, that I can show affection to her. Is like when she says, let's go out do this, let's go here, let's go there. To one or two of those things, I can be like, all right, cool, yeah, let's go. So a couple of times a week when I am at home, I'll be like, yeah, let's go to Costco. Let's go roam around. Or let's go for a walk by the harbor front. Or let's go roam around downtown. You know, even if it's something that I'm like, oh, God, this sounds like a pain in the ass. I'm doing it for her. I'm not doing it for myself. I'm not doing it for the universe. I'm not doing it for anything. I'm doing it so I can show her affection. And that's how she, that's her love language. You know, quality time, but also outdoor quality time, right? When I'm taking her around to different places. That's one of the reasons why I've set up a, a traveling thing with her as well. So we're going to Morocco together in September because she loves to travel and she doesn't want to do it by herself. So I'm taking her there. I'm going to show her to different places in a very calm and, and relaxing way so she doesn't get tired and I take care of all the issues and the, and the stuff that goes on, right? So again, remember, not, obviously it doesn't apply to all, only the extroverted relationships you have, but any of the you know, partnerships that you have, but also all extroverted relationships. I've noticed that I have a lot, as I said, a lot of extroverted people around me, a lot of extroverted friends, all of them are ENFPs, ENTPs, and they need a lot of time together outdoors doing things. And so I'm really trying, and I schedule time once a week with them or something like that, and I'll go out, and we'll be outdoors in the restaurant, and they'll be like having fun. And that's how I show to them that, yeah, I love you because I'm spending my time with you. And they understand that because they understand how hard it is for me to go out, right? So they understand that and they take it in and they feel loved and our friendship becomes stronger and stronger. Our trust grows and it deepens and it just becomes a better relationship all around. All right. Again, I hope this makes sense to you guys. It's such an important topic because I feel like 
it can get very one-sided and uh, introverted, extroverted relationship. Not that we're doing it deliberately, of course. We don't hate them. Um, but it can get that way. I hope this makes sense. I hope this was useful. If you guys have any questions at all, please email me. The only way I answer email or questions anymore is through email. Obviously, you can comment below as well. And if you guys love my stuff, love my videos, love me, <laughs> you can support me by going on to my Patreon site. The link is below. And supporting me by giving a dollar a month even or five dollars or whatever you prefer. Okay? All right. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.